Hello friend, welcome to my channel Quest for Education. Today I am discussing 10 mathematics questions for the student who is preparing for the Johor Navadaya Vidyalaya entrance exam 2022. Let's start and before we start, one thing I would remember you that don't forget to subscribe my channel. Question number 1. Six digit greatest event number to be formed with the help of 3, 6, 1, 9, 2 and 5. The number are 3, 6, 1, 9, 2 and 5. We have to write greatest digit first. So we write 9 after that 6, after that 5, after that 3 and we, we have to write even number. So we have to write the smallest even number 2 in the last. So it's become 1, 2. So A is the right answer. Question number 2. 70% of 120 plus 115 is equal to. So first we write the expression that is 70% of 120 plus 115. So it's become 70 by 100 multiplied by 120 plus 115. So it's become 84 plus 115 that is 199 so c is the right answer question number three simplify 200 divided by third bracket 88 minus second bracket 12 multiplied by 13 first bracket minus 3 multiplied by 40 minus 9 in the first bracket second bracket close third bracket close so the expression is question number three 200 divided by 88 minus second bracket 12 13 3 multiplied by 40 minus 9 third bracket close so 200 divided by 88 minus 156 minus 3 into 31 so 200 divided by 88 minus 156 minus 93 close so 200 divided by 88 less 63 So 200 divided by 25, that is 8. So B is the right answer. Question number 4. If 1160.9 divided by 65 equal to 17.86, then the value of 11.609 divided by 6.5 is. So first we write this expression 1160. 0.9 divided by 65 equal to 17.86 we write it this way nine divided by 65 so eliminating point we get 10 over there equal to 17.86 so 11.609 11 divided by 6.5 11.609 by 6.5 eliminating point we get 230 here we get 10 here so the expression is 1160965 multiplied by 10 into 10 we write 110 into 10 so the value of this expression is 17.86 so value of this expression is 17.86 so it's become 17.86 by 10 so 1.786 so b is the right answer question number five find the acf of 48 64 and 
120. We, we calculate the ACF by divide method. So we divide. So we divide 64 by 48. We get 148. So ACF of 48 and 64 is 16. After that, we calculate the ACF of 16 and 120. So we divide 120 by 16. We get 7, 8. So ACF is 8. So D is the right answer. Question number 6. A car goes daily to Kanpur at the speed of 60 km per hour and return back on speed of 40 km per hour. Then the average speed of car is. So we can calculate it from formula 6 average speed that is 2xy by x plus y. 2 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 40 by 60 plus 40 that is 2 into 60 into 40 by 100 48 kilometer per hour so d is the right answer question number 7 a shopkeeper buys 20 bananas at rupees 15 and sell 50 banana at rupees 20 find his profit or loss percentage so 7 cost price of 20 banana rupees 15 cost price of one banana rupees 15 by 20 3 by 4 selling price of 15 banana rupees 20 that is selling price of one banana rupees 20 by 15 that is 4 by 3 so profit 4 by 3 less 3 by 4 it's become 12 16 minus 9 that is 7 by 12 therefore profit percentage Profit 7 by 12 by CP that is 3 by 4 multiplied by 100 so it is going to 7 by 12 4 by 3 multiplied by 100 that is 700 by 9 7 by 9 percent so B is the right answer 8 20 boys could complete a work in 15 days 25 boys will complete the same work in we can calculate it in unitary method so 20 boys can complete it in 15 days one boys can complete it in 15 multiplied by 20 days and 25 boys can complete it in 15 multiplied by 20 divided by 25 that is 12 days so friend b is the right answer question number nine sarah deposited rupees 2400 for 3 years 9 months at the rate of 5% per annum. Find the amount at maturity. So friend, we can calculate it from formula 9 principal 
2400 time 3 year 9 months we convert 9 month into year it is become 3 years and 9 by 12 years 3 by 4 year or 15 by 4 years and rate that is 5% therefore interest PTR by 100 P 2400 T 15 by 4 rate 5 by 100 it's become 450 rupees therefore amount principal plus interest that is 2400 plus 450 it is become 2850 rupees so C is the right answer. Question number ten: The number of square shaped tiles measuring forty centimeter by thirty centimeter required to flooring a square field whose one side is twenty-seven meter. So, question number ten: Side of square twenty-seven meter. We convert meter into centimeter. It's become twenty-seven hundred centimeter. So area of square twenty-seven centimeter square. Area of tiles that is forty. Multiplied by thirty centimeters square. Therefore, number of tiles that is two seven double zero multiplied by two seven double zero by forty multiplied by thirty zero 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 nine six seven five. So it's become six thousand seventy-five. So B is the right answer. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.